everyone, thanks for joining me. Today's video is about morning wake me up fragrances. This is kind of a concept that I came up with on my own, I like to think, because I find myself in a trend where sometimes I'll wake up and I'll be feeling a little groggy and lazy and I just want something like zingy and fresh to wake me up and give me that burst of energy. And so I thought maybe I'm not the only one and some of you guys can relate. Maybe you don't necessarily want this fragrance to last you all day. Maybe it's just a little morning pick me up and then you can go on your merry way and wear whatever other fragrance you want later on. Some of these are longer lasting, but for the most part, they're just quick refreshers. This first one is a recent discovery and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's called Menthe Fresh from Healy. I got this at Raffinade Perfumery. They always have incredible sales for niche fragrances. They have these niche fragrances that I've never seen. Like honestly, if you're looking for affordable, I guess as affordable as it can get, but niche fragrances, so something that smells unique, something a little bit more refined and different, this place is an amazing find. And like this shop always has really great sales on niche fragrances and I just blind buy there. I just like to take gambles. Most of the time, I'm pretty happy. Look at the sprayer. It's very, very fresh. Like it's fresh mint. It smells like spearmint gum, like spearmint juicy fruit gum with some citrus in there. This is probably the most masculine leading of the bunch. I think this is a great, like clean morning men's scent, but I love to wear it myself and it's just super fresh. It's as, as fresh as fresh can get. It's minty, minty fresh. The great thing about this is that this doesn't have that obnoxious, like synthetic chemical vibe that I, I guess I'm really sensitive to because I notice it in a lot of fragrances that are supposed to be freshies. I'm just like really put off by that undercurrent of a synthetic citrusy thing. This really doesn't have much citrus. I'm pretty sure it's just like the typical bergamot and mostly mint. Like really, if I had to say that it smells like one thing, it smells like juicy fruit spearmint gum. If you're into that, this is what this is. Next, we have a couple of Joe Malone's. So the first one is Blackberry and Bay. I absolutely love this. I have the body wash and the body cream as well. They came in a set with a fragrance. It's pretty much what it sounds like. It smells like blackberries and bay leaf. It's very elegant. It smells very expensive. It's very refreshing. It's got a certain herbaceous vibe to it. It's not a super sweet blackberry. It's more of a tart blackberry and the bay leaf is herbaceous. It's a very elegant kind of like kick you in the butt to wake up in the morning type of fragrance for me. It doesn't last super long. It'll give me about three to four hours, which is perfectly fine because at that point I'm ready to move on to another fragrance and it's a great morning pick me up. I love to wear this on like a crisp spring morning. It's very classy and simplistic, so I absolutely love it. Again, longevity, not ideal, but for what it is and for the purpose that it serves for me, I'm super happy with it and it's just a beautiful scent. Now, this is my spring summer morning pick me up. In the winter, I like Jo Malone orange bitters. Again, exactly what it sounds like. It's a, it's a bitter orange scent. It actually smells a lot like Christmas. It smells very Christmassy. I haven't worn this at all in the spring and summer because it, it has a winter vibe to it. It's like, you know, when you put when during Christmas time, you put cloves decoratively in an orange. That kind of is the vibe that I get. I don't think there's a clove note in here, but it's that idea. It's like that bitter orange rind, some woodiness. It's really beautiful. It really smells like if you take an orange rind and you crush it and those like sprinkles like that spray comes out right out of that orange rind. That's like kind of what this is like, or like if you bite into an orange rind, it's really, really nice. Very refreshing, but more so for the winter time. This was like a, a winter reach for me when it was a little bit colder outside. Not super long lasting, about four or five hours from this one is a little bit more long lasting than Blackberry and Bay. Unfortunately, Jo Malone fragrances don't last very long, but they do have very nice, elegant, simplistic profiles, and I like them in the morning, these two specifically. And Orange Bitters is completely unisex. Again, just as good on men as it is on women. I don't really see a gender profile to this at all. Moving on, we have another interesting niche fragrance, and this is called 
Le Magnolia de Rosine, and this is from Les Parfums de Rosine. Not a lot of people talk about this brand, and it is a newer discovery for me. I've had it for a few months. I do really like it. I've been really enjoying Magnolia lately. It's a really clean floral. I love this in the morning because it's a very clean, elegant, girly floral scent. It's very fresh. It's very uplifting, jolly, like really, really nice, very soft. Like it doesn't have that same kick as some of the other ones do, that herbaceous kick, like the, the previous few that I've mentioned. This is much more soft. It's musky. It's like a, a gentle lift out of bed, if you will. This is what this one is for me. And I just, I love it in the mornings. It just makes me smile. Like I love the scent of Magnolia. Sometimes it can be a little bit too strong, but it's perfect in this. It's very delicate. If I had to choose one word for it, well, I guess two, it's delicate and refreshing. And again, this is from Raffinade Perfumery. I have to say they are my absolute hands down favorite source for niche fragrances. Check this one out. It's very likable. I would say definitely uh, a safe blind buy if you even remotely like something like floral and refreshing. I will link everything for you guys down below. I don't encourage blind buying, but if you're into that kind of thing like I am, then this one would be a safe one. Now, moving on, we have Gucci Bamboo. This isn't one that I've talked about, but I do really like it. The only issue is that mine is the Eau de Parfum, which in the beginning does have a little bit of like a urine vibe, but it does go away after like just over about an hour, which is annoying. The Eau de Toilette is better. So I do recommend that if you guys are gonna go for this, go for the Eau de Toilette. It doesn't last as long. The Eau de Parfum does last longer, but it takes a little while for that very unpleasant note to go away. It's Lily. So the thing is with Lily, sometimes it can have that, um, I guess we can call it indolic. We can call it indolic because it's a little bit of a scent of, a little bit of a scent of decay. But it is very fresh. It's very refreshing, very clean. There is not a note of bamboo in here. They just decided to call it bamboo. It is predominantly a very clean, crisp lily scent with like a little bit of citrus in here as well. But again, I do recommend that you guys go for the Eau de Toilette because don't make the same mistake I did. I bought the Eau de Parfum because I thought it would just be stronger. But unfortunately, it does have that off-putting note in here just in the beginning. Let me know if any of you guys have had that experience and you know what I'm talking about. I think I've mentioned this once before in my collection video and a few of you guys did know what I meant. But anyway, I still wear it and I still really like it because that does go away and then afterwards it's just a really beautiful scent. And I actually do get a lot of compliments on this, surprisingly. I guess it has quite a large scent bubble so people catch it and it smells very fresh and clean and crisp. Now the next one came in a set and it is from Atelier Cologne and it's Pacific Lime. I have been loving this, especially for the really hot summer days. This just smells like a really fresh, like lime cocktail. It makes me think of vacation. It makes me think of being on a beach and having a margarita and laying in the sun. And this kind of just smells like a margarita, honestly. Very limey, very zingy, like very fresh and juicy. Very juicy, that's probably the word. Like if you think of a juicy, fresh lime, this is what it is. It's quite simplistic. Considering the longevity, it is on the pricey side, but it is a beautiful fragrance, very well blended and just super refreshing. And again, perfectly unisex. If you, if you like margaritas, and being on the beach, you're gonna like Pacific Lime. Moving on, we have Jennifer Lopez Still. And this is a fragrance that you guys actually recommended to me and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for suggesting this. It is an amazing cheapie. I don't know how I haven't discovered this before, but yeah, this was this whole bottle, I think it's a 50 mil. They didn't have a 100 mil. So I got the 50 mil, it was about $20 Canadian. And it's just a super fresh tea scent. It's got some pepper. The opening, again, isn't my favorite, but it dries down very quickly into a really beautiful scent. The opening, I have to wait for it to pass, and after about three to five minutes, it's gorgeous. 
there's definitely like a crisp apple note and yeah, it's mainly a fresh tea scent. This is perfect for the morning when my brain is still buffering and I'm not ready to think and I this is just a dumb reach in the morning. I spray it, I smell super fresh and clean and I'm super happy with this for the price point. I've been reaching for it a lot in the summer and it's just a great summer morning wake me up fragrance, loving it. Staying on the tea topic, we have White Tea from Elizabeth Arden. I've mentioned this to you guys a bunch of times. I love it so much. I know that a few of you guys have got it based on my recommendation and I'm so happy to hear when other people love a fragrance as much as I do. It's so elegant. This is a spa experience in a bottle. The next scent is Maison Francis Kurdjian and this is Aqua Universalis Fort. It's just a beautiful summery white floral. Again, love to put it on in the morning. For those mornings that you wake up feeling super bougie, this is the fragrance for you. It is just very, very elegant, very expensive smelling. It's mostly white florals. There's a beautiful jasmine, there's citrus, there's a little bit of rose in the background, musk, really just like masterfully blended as all fragrances from this house. I am absolutely obsessed with this fragrance house. Everything that they make just smells incredible. And for a morning fragrance, this is the one for me. Of all of the, the aquas that they have, the Aqua Universalis Fort is my favorite. It is the most feminine of the bunch. I've tried Aqua Vitae, I've tried Aqua Celestia, I've tried the non-fort versions. They really don't last as long. This is really, if I had to choose one, the one from all of their aquas, the best one. And finally, the very last fragrance that we have is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Love in Capri. Really, it can be any Dolce Gabbana Light Blue, and this is last because it's kind of an honorable mention, but also just part of the list. It has the original, the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue DNA, but it's a little bit more powdery. It has an almond blossom note. It has heliotrope. It's a little bit warmer and a little bit more sexy in my mind. I guess it's not just a morning fragrance, but I do tend to reach for this in the mornings. The longevity is a little bit lacking in my opinion. It's only at about four or five hours on my skin, but the fragrance is beautiful. I love Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. I know many people have talked about it. I'm just touching on it briefly. And I do recommend a flanker of Dolce Gabbana Light Blue because they do still have the same DNA, but just with a different spin. So this one, it has honeysuckle. It's a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit muskier, warmer, sexier, in my opinion, than the original Light Blue. But the problem is I think it may be discontinued. I got mine at a great discount. I got it on FragranceNet. I'm going to link it down below if I can find it for you guys. I actually do like this the best of all of the Dolce Gabbana light blue flankers that I've tried. I've tried Sun. I've tried um, a few of the other ones. I've tried Dolce Gabbana uh, light blue intense and the original. And to me, this one is just really the best. Definitely go for it if you are into that fragrance. And those are all of my favorite morning wake me up slash pick me up fragrances. These are the ones that get me going in the mornings and give me that burst of energy and just start my day off feeling good. Let me know what fragrances you guys reach for in the mornings. Do you guys have this morning wake me up, pick me up fragrance thing going on like me? Let me know what you guys reach for. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.